Hello there and welcome back to drawing, prayer, and meditation. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a bird today. But uh, the way this normally works is it's a uh, spiritual practice of meditation and quieting our hearts and our minds to walk through something that we might be going through or maybe if we just need a place of opening of space to just be. And so I always start with uh, a passage from a book and then we begin the drawing process with a little bit of music and meditation. So this is from a book called The Crossroads of Should and Must by L. Luna and it's talking about um, the idea of how we're always waiting around for something, right? For something like we don't um, start and we always have this word I should, I should be doing this, or I, I ought to. And so let's hear a little bit of her perspective on this. How might we remove should from our lives? Removing should is hard and time consuming because in order to remove it, we must first understand it, get to know it, it intimately. We need to know each other's should's origins, how it got there, and when we first began to integrate it into our decision-making. Looking for recurring patterns and choices, both little and big, that are affected. How often do we place blame on the person, the job, the situation, when the real problem is, the real pain is, within us? And we leave and walk away angry, frustrated, and sad, and unconsciously carrying the same, shoulds, into a new context, the new relationship, the new job, the new friendship, hoping for different results. But so long as we leave should unexamined, the pattern repeats. And while running from should certainly sounds easier and more pleasant, we must get to know should if we want to release its invisible grip from our everyday decision-making. If you're ready to get to know your shoulds, you can, and here's one way. Grab a piece of paper and make a list of the shoulds you hold on to by completing the sentences, I should be. Listen to what comes up first and write it down without thinking too much. Even if it doesn't make sense right now, it contains a grain of truth worth capturing. As you're looking at that list one by one, ask the following three questions. Where did it come from? Is it true for me? And do I want to keep holding on to you? This piggybacks on uh, the other uh, lesson that we did on the quail, which had uh, the quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. It's your life but only if you make it so. The standards by which you live must be your own standards, your own values, your own convictions in regard to what is right and wrong, what is true and false, what is important and what is trivial. So as we go into the drawing practice, and this is a time where even though I am drawing and I'd love for you to draw along with me, if you have something you would like to meditate on and draw from your own expressions, feel free to do that. But I'll have the music playing. And what I'd like for you to do is to think upon maybe a should that's been nagging at you that might need a little more examination as to whether it needs to be released. Today we're drawing a bird.
Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and like and share. Turn on the notification buttons um, if you'd like to see um, all of the work that we do here in this place of peace. My desire is to start a peace revolution where we can find that inner peace and connect with God within us so that out of that pours the wellspring of hope um, that the world really needs.